Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, the, the title of this presentation, Nature Occurring Deuterium is Essential for Normal Growth Rate of Cells. Uh, the next presentation will talk about in detail the hydrogen deuterium. Now I would like to flash up a couple of slides. So we know that the deuterium is a heavy hydrogen. We know that due to the 100% mass, uh, percent mass difference, the hydrogen behaves differently in chemical reaction. And we also know that in a normal surface water, the deconcentration is about 150 ppm, which is equivalent with 16.8 millimole per liter. And uh, the real question what I addressed uh, uh, long ago, we can consider that uh, the deuterium concentration in a living organism is 12, 14 millimole per liter. And if we compare it with the calcium concentration or to the magnesium concentration, we, we can say that the deuterium concentration is pretty relevant. And the question is whether this deuterium has any role in living organisms or not. To, to answer for that question, we have one way. If we remove the deuterium or we reduce the deuterium concentration, and we see whether it has any effect on, on biological systems. So the very simplest and the most ex, ex, uh, simplest experiment, if we use uh, deuterium depleted water to prepare media and to see whether it can modify the cell growth in vitro. That was the very first experiment when we used L929 cell lines. And this is a normal deuterium level. This is a 30 ppm. And we could see that deuterium depleted water or media inhibited the growth of cell. And we also could see that slightly increasing the deconcentration that could stimulate the cell multiplication. And other experiments were carried out by Gabor Lashkai. In that experiment, we use another cell line, A4. And uh, here we can see when the cells were transferred from normal water to deuterium depleted water, I mean media. In the deuterium depleted media, the cell grows stop for a while, and after 12, uh, 15 hours, the cell grows started again. Another experiment with the HT29, this is a colon tumor cell line. We also could see the dose effect. Uh, this is a normal deuterium concentration, and the lower was the concentration, the bigger was the inhibitory effect on, on cell growth. Then we went, went to the United States and asked the Oncotech Incorporation, which is testing several compounds for, for Big Pharma, whether it has any anti, uh, anti effect. They tested C three different cell lines, uh, PC3, uh, prostate, breast, and melanoma cell lines. And they also could prove that the depletion inhibited the cell growth of the cell growth. All these in vitro experiments, we reduced the deuterium concentration in one step. Later, we asked them to, 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 to the, we asked the, the scientists to, to reduce, not in one step, the deuterium, but in, in five steps. And the next figure shows that uh, when it was reduced twice within 24 hours, three times, four times, five times within 48 hours, or five times within uh, 72 hours. More times the deconcentration was increased, decreased, the bigger was the inhibitory effect. It is with one cell line, and with the other cell line, uh, we could see the same effect. So that could be something similar, what we can experience when people or, or, uh, or animals consuming deuterium depleted water, so that there is a gradual decrease in deuterium concentration. We tested a not tumorous cell line, which was a human, human myomaterial cell line. Here, we also could see some effect, but it never was so, so big than comparing to the uh, tumorous cell lines. In the very, very first uh, animal experiment, we used a breast cancer tumor we transplanted to mice. At the beginning of the uh, experiment, we had 17 mice in the treated group and 11 in the control group. And uh, 87 days later, in the treated group, which were consuming deuterium depleted water, we had 11 mice without any tumor. Here, all the animals uh, has perished except one, which also still has the tumor. In that case, the treatment started right after the day that the tumor had been transplanted into the mice. In another experiment, we used uh, mice, 22 mice, 
in the control group, 22 mice in the treated group, and the prostate cancer was transplanted into a mice. In the first 32 days, both groups consumed normal water. At that time, the average tumor size was the same in the two, two groups. At that time, we changed the normal water for deuterium depleted water, and you could see that in the control group, the tumor growth can, uh, was very, very intensive, but it was uh, slowed down and it was much smaller, the growth rate in the treated group. At other experiment, we used, again, the PCC prostate cancer. The tumor was transplanted. In the first 18 days, days both groups consumed normal water. Then the treated group consumed deuterium depleted water for uh, 12 days. After that, we killed the animals, and we checked the cells being in mitosis and mitosis in the two groups. We found that 3.6% were in mitosis and only one in the uh, in apoptosis in the control group, and the average tumor size was uh, 3.7 cube centimeter. In the other group, that ratio was just the opposite, so the deuterium depletion triggered the apoptosis, and the tumor value was very uh, much smaller, and the shape was a, a, a ball shaped. Here, suggesting that somehow the deuterium depletion can trigger the apoptosis. Gábor Laske made another experiment in vitro with, with that similar system. This is an interleukin-dependent cell lines, which means when we withdraw the interleukin, that triggered the apoptosis. And here we checked that process in normal water and deuterium depleted water, and the figure shows that somehow the deuterium depletion even triggered the apoptosis, uh, suggesting again that somehow this, this deuterium could be very important for the cell. It's, it's, the question is, how can we, how can we explain our results? Uh, if we go back a couple of decades, we can say that it is widely expect, accepted that before the cells start to multiply, there is the activation of sodium hydrogen transport system, which causes a pH shift, and that shifts somehow uh, a message for the cell to multiply. Uh, there, uh, there was a paper published in the Nature uh, that uh, article says that uh, they isolated the hydrogen ATPS gene from yeast, and they used that gene to transform animal cell line, and they could prove that the cell uh, expressed the, the gene and the ATPS was sitting in the membrane and throwing out the hydrogen, and they proved that the pH shift uh, has occurred. But everybody was surprised that uh, that tumor showed tumorous phenotype in vitro. So nobody could explain how is it possible that uh, uh, ATPS gene behaves as an oncogene. Uh, the real answer we can get if, if, we can real, if we can suppose that the life can make difference between the hydrogen and the deuterium. And we check for discrimination of isotopes, we can find several papers saying that, that the life can make difference between the two hydrogen uh, uh, isotopes. For example, the light, large hydrogen isotope dis, uh, fractionation between the lipids and gross water between the, uh, uh, being of, observed in most organisms, or I, hydrogen isotope discrimination in higher plants, depending on what uh, biochemical ways used to, to fix the carbon dioxide, or deuterium discrimination between the phosphor hydrogen, phosphor deuterium uh, exchange of uh, phosphorus acid. So it is clear for today that that the life is so sophisticated that can can differentiate between the hydrogen and deuterium. But which can be very important for us, there is a paper which says that the, the hydrogen ATPs do not accept deuterium as a substrate. So it means that these enzymes are so sophisticated that they consider the hydrogen as a substrate and they throw it out on the membrane, and the, uh, but not the deuterium. So combining these results with, with our results, we say that, that when there is a signal and bind to the membrane and activate the hydrogen transport system, we say that system will prefer to eliminate the hydrogen. And that will change the DH ratio, and we say this is a final signal for the cell, changing the DH ratio. And when we are using deuterium depleted water, even that system is activated, but the cells are not able to lift up the DH ratio to the threshold, or it takes much longer time, and this is the 